let me just say this. That in the 80s and the 70s and 80s, I was a very notorious drug addict. I was a very a famous cocaine addict, very famous. I don't say that to be arrogant, but I was one of the first rock stars to become, oh, Glenn Hughes, you know, he's a cocaine addict, you know. Yeah. You know, please believe me. There are things that I never told anybody uh, un until the book. Uh, let's just say that um, I was a little, uh, I, I was, uh, let's just say I disappeared in the 90s for a while. And, you know, um, nobody knew where I was and I didn't tell anybody. People thought that I was actually on a boat in, in the Mediterranean and I wasn't. I was somewhere else and I was basically being. A, a, another person under another name um, being completely isolated and it was it almost killed me Ooh, yeah. Just when I go down, I believe. I wanted to experiment I wanted to be alone and I wanted to live under a different name and I wanted to to be travel alone with no no one knew where I was. I only, I only disappeared like five or six times in, in, a, in three years but it was um, let's just say that I was on my journey. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm going to do there's one thing I'd like to say. When I got sober a long time ago, and let's just say that I, I wanted to experiment. I wanted to experiment with other drugs and other things and other people, and I wanted to be anonymous. I wanted to go under another name and I wanted to travel. So you wanted to do that without the, being the rock star? I, I wanted to do it without, in the public eye, in my hometown, in the country where I live. I wanted to disappear, you know? And there's no greater city in the world to go dark than Amsterdam. Uh, you know, Amsterdam, it can be... If you want weird, it's here. Oh, yeah. If you want weird, and the fact of the matter is, is, is that... Um, it got so fucking weird that it scared the shit out of me. And so let's just say that I went to the edge of the cliff of insanity. This was like insanity right here. And I took my chin and went, oh, fuck, and came like that. And, and, and that was it. I had this clarity moment where I said, well, I can either jump over here and go insane because I was I was really, really going insane, and it, it just I just turned back and became the man I am now.